In this video, we're going to show you a couple things to look at when you get a check board tracking roller error at the machine. The first thing to look at is your belts. This machine has rubber belts, but if you have sandpaper belts, you need to look for a sandpaper belt roll up. That'll cause your board to lift up off of the board tracking roller, causing it to uh, give you that error. The next thing to look for is actually on the tracking roller to make sure that it rolls well, make sure that it has an O-ring on it, and then push down on it and make sure that it doesn't flop back and forth or up and down. Uh, if it does move very easily, you're most likely, likely missing your damper which goes underneath. The next thing to check for is that your board doesn't have any features on it that would cause it to lose track against the board tracking roller as it goes in and out of the machine. As you can see on this one, if you started down here, your board tracking roller would roll really nice until it got to this point and then lose contact. So this board obviously would not work if you put it in that way. Uh, obviously there's other uh, board features uh, or geometries, if it was cupped or bowed, which would uh, cause it to lose uh, contact with the roller as it goes in and out of the machine. So make sure that you check your board very, very carefully. Also, uh, we like to suggest that you put a piece of tape on the edge that goes along the, uh, the strong back and rolls along the roller uh, so that you can check. So you can take a piece of tape, put it all the way along the edge, and if, especially if you're getting this air on a certain piece of wood, once it goes in and out, you can actually track the roller by its little teeth marks it leaves in the tape and see if it loses contact at any point along that board. That's a good way to tell you if your board is straight and, and usable. They uh, also want to make sure that your board is not getting wedged as it goes in and out. That can also, if it binds, it can uh, stop the piece of wood and cause it to slip against a belt which would give you a, a tracking roller error as well. Another thing to look for, if your board is getting pushed out the back of the machine, spit out the back of the machine, is that most likely the back roller has sawdust up underneath it and it's, it's not dropping. The roller's not dropping and the machine is not seeing the end of the board. So it just thinks that it, it, it is, there's a much longer piece of wood in it. So you need to go ahead and blow out underneath that roller and we have a video for that for doing that very thing so check that that video as well and the last thing to check uh, if you're having board tracking problems is the head pressure this is obviously something that's very very important we have extensive documentation on this but you're going to want to check your head pressure regularly but if you don't have a high enough head pressure it's entirely possible that uh, you're going to see board tracking issues so with a, a scale consult our videos and our documentation on exactly how to do it and what the head pressure should be for your machine and your rubber or sandpaper belts.